and the buyer can any monozo and no bossy uruchitata. Darling, then you couldn't see when a solar near name near a cubo as him coach dear zero. As come over sink it out, the lion and manaya the gate. Nature da wabu. O try to attack where I did it. He said, He said, He said, I did cause it. Uh, the case you know, when I get out there, you update in the rock on Eastern News 24. I will tell you, no update also them no kumba, but start a maka if a name in a neighbor and the entire Eastern region. I'm um, always fair, be a from Prime Minister for the senior rock. I'm gonna find out where about evening tea, the guy five to four. All the folk was in the rock one man, I could not get a beef. Give me a moment again, tea gets here, a drop or I comment to give feature. Nidra Kobasta Maka Yabi Okase Nidra Kuba. All right, over to you, sir. What will happen? If that contact contacts you, block it. I won't say more than this, but you are going to receive internal message. Thank you, uh, success. I will stop here. Please. There is no gossip from thank today. You. Thank you, my there Prime is Minister. No gossip from today. Focus on the Biafra declaration, drafting of the Biafra declaration. Like I said last night, we have professors, doctors, academicians, researchers in the cabinet of Biafra government. Like I said, if I want, I will appoint two or three persons to draft the declaration. But I want to throw it open for people to feel the sense of belonging. So what we should be focused on now is the declaration drafting. We want the declaration to reflect major three subgenery, which is declaration with grievances. Every grievances of Biafra will be listed. Declaration by institutionalizing, we must list how we have formed and structured the government of Biafra to meet the international and globally accepted standard. It must reflect commitment declaration, which we have set the structure by putting up and setting up the structure for Biafra referendum, self-referendum, the collection of data, and of course, the unveiling of the Biafra forces. These are part of the commitment. This three subgenera process or procedure for the declaration of independence has been met by the Biafra government. Focus on enlightening our people that this year, 2024, by the special grace of God, Biafra will be declared in Finland. And we want everyone who wants to be part of the declaration to start making arrangements of coming to Finland. Unlike what we did last year, where the information came three months before the date, and a lot of people couldn't meet up. This time around, if we have 1,000 delegates in Finland, 1,000 delegates will append their picture, uh, their uh, signature on the declaration of, uh, document. If we have 2,000 delegates in Finland, the 2,000 will append their signature on the declaration document. Just the way we voted for the Charter of Biafra Confederation State in Finland is the same way we are going to vote. Are we expecting that the 40 states will have their representative in Finland as well? It's very important. If we don't have all of them, those people that didn't make it will have to electronically append their signature on the declaration document. Thank you, may God bless you. Thank you, Prime Minister. And uh, I must say, uh, you are a man of your words. And uh, anybody who is not afraid of you, uh, that person is ignorant of what a man really uh, is, or the type of man you are really are. Uh, people look at you and the the way you laugh, the way you dance. So the, that's the only area they saw. But uh, they are mistaken. To me. I saw a different personality, and whoever that must uh, come with equity must come with a clean hand. Uh, whoever that must work with uh, Simon Epa, 
uh, must be a person of a multidimensional uh, being. So I will thank you, sir, for your work. And we still thank you when Biafra is restored. And we are not here to gossip, but there are some repenting animals. They are trying to change. And that's why we're asking them, why did you sabotage Biafra at the first place? Why? So they will have to give us the answer before uh, anything. It doesn't stop them being a Biafran. But right now, even among them, they are calling each other now a terrorist. So but that is a discussion for another day. <laughs> another day. So as you had had the prime minister, please do apply. I'm writing my own presidential speech of the in de uh, declaration to be submitted. So do your own research and make sure it is properly uh, according to his uh, guideline. Go and, uh, I mean, fill the form as part of those who will uh, write the independence uh, declaration speech. That will be very, very fine. And it will have a limited time. He said from 1928, uh data might have been collected for those who are willing to be part of it then work goes on so do yourself a favor to be part of this and those of you who will be traveling from african countries to finland start making preparation now it's so that it will not be too late for you start making preparation now so biafra will come this year and how good and how it is that all of us will gather in this land once again to praise our Elohim Chiko Kabiam. And, uh, and above all, our leader. Just to, just to interrupt, sorry for interruption. And now that uh, the number has corrected to almost 1,000 people watching, because uh, I just jump in. So you people can continue. I will hang on here. And I want you to understand also that the declaration that we are talking about is not that you are going to write your declaration or your research and send. No. The idea is that after the closing of the recruitment for the committee or the board for drafting the declaration, we will announce the uh, closure and then also announce how many people that have shown interest and of course, how many people that have been selected. And then you are going to be having meeting virtually to discuss and start drafting the declaration. So stage by stage, after the drafting, you will meet and I will meet with the committee and they will present what they have drafted for the first badge and we go through it. At the end of the day, we will bring the final draft, which is going to be what will be declared in Finland. So it is a going to be it's going to be a group and teamwork where everybody will be putting uh, will be having input in especially on the grievances uh, aspect. Uh, part of the declaration is where many uh, input will be needed. We need to have a very groundbreaking grievances, the impunity atrocities of the Nigeria state against Biafra people from the time immemorial to this date, including when they were borrowing from China and excluded the Southeast, is one of the biggest grievances that will be listed, including the killings and genocide against our people from 2015 till date. All those killings must be well documented in the grievance listing of the Declaration of Biafra. Then we go to the institutionalizing how Nigeria has failed to protect the life of Biafra people and how uh, you know, the corruption has taken over and how Nigeria could not stand anymore. So it is the responsibility of the people to abolish Nigeria. These are the things that we are going to discuss in depthly during the meetings of the drafting of the declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, also, if we, if we are doing, you remember the COVID-19 palliative. They say that people are sending money to them from abroad. So it is one of those, it's even on their national papers. Yes. It is written, I'm going to research that paper and bring it up. So when it reached a palliative, they say our people are sending us money from abroad. That uh, palliatives given to Nigerians by uh, European unions are not going to go to the Biafran people because our people are sending us money from abroad. Exactly. Thank you very much. All right. So thank you, you, sir. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you. I can spend one, two, twenty minutes more to discuss, and I will be listening as well. Thank you. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's the voice of the Prime um, Minister of the Biafra Republic yeah. Government Nedfile and the Defato Government in Homeland, generally the United States of Biafra. 
he is our prime minister and um, uh, uh, we are his we are his people <coughs> so Sanchez, what we are Sanchez, yeah let, let's take advantage PM is here take advantage people can take advantage of his presence here and uh, ask critical questions especially those one Nigerians that are here you can take advantage and uh, engage the PM he's still hanging around please thank you success all right is there anybody having a very critical questions for the prime minister he is here uh if you have please do come up with your questions please don't be shy if you're among those who are asking this question why do you sabotage come here open confession is one of the easiest things to forgive the easiest way to forgive. and if you are come, come if you are coming be be responsible and then be respectful don't um exactly. don't consider that like the one that um, spoke yesterday and um, yesterday exactly if you have a question please raise your hands i uh, apply for the microphone and raise your hand we still have 20 minutes to spend to with our prime minister here if you have a question, raise your hand. Veterans, do you have questions? Jaja, do you have questions? Chimezie. Okay, veteran, go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, my prime minister, sir. Veteran, we can hear you, or is it me? No, no, no. no. But Biafra in those spaces, we are no longer we are no longer treated. That we are. That mean the, the, we are now being. Uh, Veteran, your network is very bad. Can you fix it and come back? It is breaking. There we are. Fix your network, then return back. Uh, Chimeremeze, is it Chimeremeze? Okay, Chimeze. Please, Chime Mezie. Yes, I'm here. Okay, go straight to your question. Uh, good afternoon, my, my Prime Minister. Please, uh, there's a question I have uh, concerning our data collection at Homeland. Um, because uh, I've noticed that uh, it's difficult for people to access the enter Biafra because the, the terrorist state has blocked it. So um, if they do such a thing towards our uh, the website that our people will be will be using to to file in their data collection, is there anything we are doing in that uh, in that uh, aspect? Thank you. So what you do is uh, you can access VPN, VPN, VPN. So download VPN. There are free VPN you can use to access the the website if it is being banned in nigeria prime minister go ahead all right thank you very much the data collection is not happening through the enter biafra there is a special website and probably app for it so it is not going to be through the enter biafra the biafra intelligent bureau has a different website for data collection which is very very secured and at the same time, even if the website of that uh, intelligence bureau is blocked, you can use the VPN, like uh, Sosa said. But for now, nobody knows. The, it is not public at this point. So it is secured and you will have access to it. But at the same time, I believe that uh, the app also will, will come and uh, that the app may not be able to, they may not be able to block the app. but. The website itself, if they block it, we use VPN to log in and do your registration. Thank you. Okay. But, uh, Jaja, do you have any question, Dennis? Yes, yes, I have one question. I have one question. My Prime Minister, I salute you once more from here, Major Buago, Dilos in other uncle. My name is Nahe Kwetago, not uncle. I salute you, the one and only Prime Minister that the Biafrans has ever have. We respect you from here, my brother. And but the question I want to ask is on these Biafrans grievances, I know that there's no book in this world that will contain what we have suffered in the hand of these people. I want to ask. 
is this egregious is those that wanted to write that has intention of writing are they going to attach pictures of what that happened or some gruesome and the videos and all that to the to their write-up or it's just the verbal that's the the theory of what happened that they will write that there's no need of picture and any video that's the question i want to ask my prime minister thank you very much like i said our own declaration is a combination of multi-dimensional approach so the word of the declaration will be very brief but of, of course the attachment or the uh, the attachment to the declaration may be very very wide and broad so we may have a separate file for references to the declaration of the restoration of independent state of biafra so every research uh, that has to do with uh, documentation and pictures and all that is welcome and that's why we are constituting this particular board to have well documented grievances uh, of the biafra people that may not be in the wording of the declaration but as an attachment to the declaration itself so those people that are interested in knowing what biafra has gone through under nigeria after reading the declaration they may go to the annexes thank you thank you so much. thank you so much my prime minister god bless you sir um, susu. sir i also have a question for you sir good morning sir my pm um uh, these grievances can we include our individualized grievances towards the country as a as a niger area you know for example me for example i always tell our people that nigeria killed my fourth son you know yeah i had a baby that uh, i was pregnant and the water broke and uh, the baby was six months baby but they couldn't the, the hospital i went to they have incubator to put my baby so that my baby can pick up from them my baby died my baby son died and that has been my annoyance against nigeria government so can we include our individual grievances towards the con uh, the niger area thank you sir thank you very much we do not have individual grievances what happened to you has happened to millions of biafrans so it can never be an individual grievances is a, a biafra grievances that we do not have hospital nigeria as a country have not provided a very good health care for our people they don't have good hospital good school good health care system good social service they provided nothing for the citizens of Biafra. Mm -hmm. So it is a general grievance. It's not just you. Many people, in, even today, many people are going to die because of uh, the same uh, you know, issues you have with them. So it is a, a general problem, not just about you. Understand? So it is going to fall under the uh, grievances of Biafrans because many thousands, if not millions, have died from such condition. Thank you. So I have one more question only. Can I also hold a program for us as Biafran's grievances and people will come up to tell us about their grievances? Is it possible, sir? Anybody can hold a program, but everybody knows what our grievances are. So I believe uh, it is not something that you are going to start researching on. There are many things that has happened to Biafra people, especially the killings, and if you go to the United States uh, Declaration of Independence, they listed their grievances, which is not even up to one quarter of what Biafra has, has gone through under Nigeria. And one of the things they listed was that they take them when they commit crime, they take them across the, across the sea, across the river also to go and judge them. Nigeria has done worse than that. Like I said yesterday, you commit crime in the southeast they will carry you to abuja kidnap you to abuja it is unacceptable they also have what they call exclusive list you can't drench you see you can't drench your own uh, your own uh, port you cannot build airport without approval from abuja it's unacceptable you don't have seaport without the approval of abuja it's unacceptable so they systematically cage the people 
And even if they release that, uh, if they remove it from the exclusive list today, it is late already because they can never ever, you know, um, uh, they can never solve or, or make us to to regain what we've lost and how we have been dealt with under Nigeria. It is not possible. So there are a lot of things. But let us focus on those grievances that, uh, you know, we feel that has affected us as a people, affected our development as a people, affected innovation, civilization, affected what makes us to be human beings. So they, there are many. Uh, let us just focus on those that, uh, you know, will ring bell to the international community. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can we call on Ronnie? You have the mic, sir. Your own question. It was my turn, oh, Sister Stella. Okay, Susie, you have the mic, ma. Let me loco. Let me loco. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Susie, are you there? Susie is having microphone challenge. Please, can you bring us up, up on that person? Ah, okay. Ronnie, hmm. you have the mic, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Major Bwago Wam. We love you so much and thank you for what you have been doing to us. Because of you, we, we are now proud to be called a people. Sir, please permit me to ask you a question as a the topic. Please, um, what I want to ask is there are some Biafrans who are you know outside the Biafra land. Should Biafra be declared and maybe they want to start coming, they are not in Biafra land then and they want to start coming home, maybe, and they are being kind of valid. Is there any, anything that Biafra can do in that regard to ensure that they get home safety? At this point, there is nothing of such. But what I'm going to tell people is that wait until that time come and we are going to assess the security situation and we'll tell you when to start coming home. For now, we don't want anybody to start going home because of this, because we have enough people at home. So stay where you are and support the liberation financially. It's very, very important. You know, when we talk about finance and all those criminals, IPOB Nigeria are saying that they are only raising money. It's because they don't know what is freedom fighting. If you know what is freedom fighting, you know that finance, Freedom fighting without finance is just you are playing. You are just playing. You just they play. Even the uh, Ukrainian today, they are still going from one country to another looking for money to continue to fight Russia. So freedom fighting without finance is zero. zero. During the time of the liberation of South Africa, while Mandela was in prison, Gaddafi financially supported South Africa. It was not enough. Castro of Cuba financially supported and armed South Africans. It was not even enough for them to free themselves. Arafat added the heat and supported South Africa financially. So the enemies of the West, the three people, the three major enemies of the West I've mentioned now, financially supported South African liberation. That was what made the heat in South Africa to be heavy until they start burning everywhere and it forced them to release uh, it forced them to release uh, Mandela and of course because he has made friends with the enemies of the West. So people that are always trying to mock you or trying to demoralize you uh, emotionally by saying oh they're only raising for it's because they don't know what is freedom fighting. You think that during the time when they were in charge of the IPOB, you raise money, they use it to do container. Check what we have done within nine months. We have acquired sophisticated weapons that has protected Biafra land today. Biafra Liberation Army are armed to the teeth. They have come with, through, through the air, we defeat them. They come through the land, we defeat them. You think we are defeating them with ordinary hand? We defeat them with bullet, guns, and the RPG, GPMG, and what have you. So it requires money. And once you are shooting gun, bullet is going, that bullet costs money. That's why we have been able to succeed 
if we had succumbed to their propaganda and their blackmail and not raising money and raising funds every month, every week, you think we'll be where we are today? We are not going to be where we are today. But you see, irrespective of that, we have our donations and fundraising has increased. The last two months has recorded uh, the highest, at least the record that we have, we have had. And at the same time, the responsibility of the Biafra government is increasing because we are expanding the command of the Biafra Liberation Army and Biafra Resistance Fighters. So when you hear them talk about finance, it's because they don't know what is freedom fighting. It requires money, and money is the thing that will give us more arms and, 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 the, and the ammunitions to face the Nigeria terrorist state. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. God bless. And the boy, Dalu Nino Ibomane Gente, a Kunisi Venice, a Polonia name, no bossing get out on a Nugun Considium, on a Nugun if a Biafran Prime Minister for the CD Chichen Ibakuko. Also, the key be a particular school, no Konagan album, but no Teron update, open a daily update, a Bastamaki Fenimen Ibakuko, a Bastamakona, Kajalena. Um, Okuya de Kosued. Mane mane yai ne meni lakwa bo tu eku uchi ya. Ae drop o update. Ikuwe feature basta maki ya the next development in Vya Fram Prime Minister ne wete. Na di kosi di um di ki geya bife ae cho ke drop o yo on comment on the commission bureau. Ano zo di ki bi abu chiteni ya abu East Alice 24 kai si wene wete do nukuzi ya do kempa. Mwadaro nungu 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 nung